Hi, this is Luke Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and I'm here with Amir Azodigan, the head of the Search Scan Division at KLA 10 Core. Uh, and Amir, what the heck is KLA 10 Core announcing today? Uh, we are announcing uh, SP3 450mm uh, version of SP3 Tool. SP3 Tool is the DPUB um, blanket wafer inspection system we introduced a year ago, today actually, and we are proud to announce that we have uh, gone out of the beta, we have tested the tool at two beta customers, and the tool is ready to be um, ordered by our customers. That's very nice. So what? Uh, it's a great question. Uh, Surf scan tool is important because it enables our uh, process equipment vendors and our substrate makers, our wafer suppliers. Uh, we, we enable them to come up and create better wafers and better tools, which is the starting material of everything. Without good wafers, there is no 450 millimeter transition. Without clean uh, process tools, you cannot have uh, devices made on the, on, uh, on the IC side that are good enough for 20 nanometer node and beyond. So SurfScan is an enabler for those process tools. Okay, well people have been talking about 450 nanometer for some, or millimeter for some time now. Gotta get the meters yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, how close are we to actually seeing this happen? So we are seeing uh, more and more activity today. Uh, we have uh, uh, booked seven tools uh, so far. We are in um, a negotiation and discussion with a number of other suppliers. So we see a lot of activity on the wafer side and the vendor side. And we have, uh, we are involved with the various uh, consortiums that are going on. Uh, we see pilot lines in 2013, 2014 timeframe, and probably high volume manufacturing maybe two or three years after that. But uh, definitely heated activity and uh, more excitement from the market than even a year ago. Well, excitement in, in making wafers is or not necessarily <laughs> things you, you normally hear, but let's see, what, what would make, you know, there are all these people walking the streets here in San Francisco during Semicon West, and they all got their little electronic devices. Why is this important to them? Uh, it's a great question, Lou. Almost the whole semiconductor industry is based on uh, shrink. You want to pack more and more power into smaller and smaller dies. So you want to make the die size smaller, you want to make feature sizes smaller to fit within there. So every few years, uh, the industry uses all tricks to make the feature sizes and die sizes smaller. But the next level, ne lever after that is the wafer size it's, uh, itself, the substrate. And we see that every few years, uh, when the financials make sense, you go from 200 millimeter to 300 millimeter. And now, if you look at the financials that are uh, calculated and open to public, you, what you see is a 450 millimeter transition is beginning to make sense again. And this is why the leading IC suppliers are pushing um, pretty hard to start the transition. And when will we start seeing products coming out that are based on the 450 wafer? wafer? Uh, when do we see? We think uh, it should be in, maybe the early ones would be 2016, 2017 should be the uh, early products. Uh, but again, without having a surf scan tool that enables good substrate, good starting material, none of this can start. Yeah. This is why uh, today's uh, uh, press release is important, that we are, we are enablers for the industry for our process tool vendors, for KLA 10 core itself, as well as the wafer suppliers. Do you think, think the slowdown in China is going to affect the adoption of this at all? Uh, we don't think so. We, 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 see, uh, we see a healthy, uh, all of us still uh, love our iPhones and uh, Android phones. We all have, we have more and more semiconductor um, based uh, machines and equipment inside the cars inside our everyday life. So uh, we don't see that. Uh, we see a push for more and more devices. So we have changed maybe from desktop to laptops and laptops to mobile. But uh, maybe the flavor changes, but the concept remains the same. The Moore's law has to go on and this is part of that uh, wave. Okay, now let me throw you a curve because this, this just came to mind. Um, the semiconductor industry has been going through a long phase of consolidation. There's not a whole lot of room for 
new people. Will the move to the 450 wafer make it possible for startup semiconductor companies to become more successful and possibly bring competition back to the market? Startup semiconductor uh, fab makers, I probably would be difficult to enter a 450 millimeter. But as far as uh, other opportunities, I think 450 transition is a discontinuity in the market. I'm sure it opens new doors. Uh, but uh, we don't think, uh, we think there's going to be more and more push from the leading uh, IC manufacturers. Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, thank you, Amir. Yeah, thank you, Lou, for your time. <laughs>